The Jungle Diaries, day 001. The voices in my head were talking to me. Intentionally homeless rating, 1.1. Point system entails how hungry I am and the food eaten for the day. The shelter situation, intentionalities versus homeless problems, daily disciplines, and checklists fulfilled. The goal is if I'm intentional, the rating goes up. If I'm more homeless, then it goes down. Simple, easy. Intentionalities for the day. Verizon SIM card situated. Bought a tripod, tent, air mattress, portable air pump, and two locks. Found a clutch spot in the park. Homeless problems. Went to the post office, didn't get a PO box. Shit was too expensive. Realizing I only have $1,000 left. Mm-hmm. Scanned easy two-step pop-up tent. It was $180. Yes, that was too expensive. So I had to buy the $40 tent. Bought the $30 twin air mattress and $17 USB blow-up charge. Had to sit down with myself for an hour or two in the Walmart battling with the doubt and negative thoughts of how I'm going to figure this shit the fuck out. Denied for Best Buy credit card. Couldn't buy a MacBook I wanted. Rode lavalier microphones were too expensive. $80 each. Couldn't get those. Bought $12 Chipotle and then I started scouting, searching on the map where I can sleep, setting up tent was shit not as shit as you think but let's get into it let's start the jungle diaries the flight landed i felt it it's happening everything i've delayed my gratification for is here intentionally homeless starts now i have about a thousand dollars left from the money i made in alaska i still need to buy my flights to north carolina to see my boy jordan graduate doctor in physical therapy let's go just bought them around two hundred dollars $800 $800 left. Okay, you got this. Steve Jobs said, Your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living the result of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown your inner own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Steve Jobs. Now to Walmart to get these items self-inflating air mattress pop-up tent portable power station waterproof suitcase bike lock laptop maybe camera call insurance for 500 dollars that that was owed to me p.o box verizon sim card and mountainside fitness membership oh shit i have no service for my europe sim cards and my new new phone never was connected to verizon off to verizon first the store rep was an mma fight guy had just been knocked the fuck out and said he couldn't fight for a while. You could see the dent in his head, or maybe that was just him. Two hours later, SIM card and service activated. Now to Walmart. Ended up buying a cheap tent, twin air mattress, small ass USB pump, duffel bag, and locks. A moment happened when I realized the first two, two-step pop-up tent I was going to buy was too much money. I froze. I bought the rest of my homeless items and sat next to the blood pressure machine negative thoughts questions started to flow in what are you doing you think going homeless is going to help you reach your goals you traveled for a month in europe when you should have just came straight here with the money you saved and not spent 90 percent of it how are you going to survive the idea was being intentionally homeless not actually homeless intentional meaning i would have had the means to live the way i needed to with the money I had intentionally. I might need financial help from those closest to me or maybe who follow me, but I just went to Europe. So what is everyone gonna think? What a dickhead. (laughs) Spent his money and now he needs help. Headass. What is your friends and family and the world gonna think? Why do you think this will succeed after the past six years you said failed at every attempt of trying to make social media happen? What makes this different? Winston Churchill, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. I don't believe success or failure are permanent. Regardless of the past setbacks and failed attempts, it doesn't make it my reality now, nor does the accomplishments. I just know I have to keep facing fear head on, so I have to have courage, keep going fucking hard on what I believe in. What I realize is I have always been the type of person where there's a door in front of me, right? I blast the fuck through it and get fucked up. Learn a lot from the fuck up, then tell a dope ass story to give me credibility for why I did it. When I could have just simply stopped in front of the door, 
waited a second, and realized the door was open the whole time. And I could have walked through easily. I know myself just as my brother has said about the Sims way of doing things. We have to have our backs against the wall to get shit done. That's when we work the best. I've thrown myself there plenty of times, but I'm realizing it is the greats that can mentally put themselves against the wall when they choose. Not only throwing themselves into the deep end whenever they get a chance, but taking a calculated risk that makes sense to them. Most others would think that they would be insane. I need to get that get to that point. Obviously, I'm not there yet. Then I realize, who else would do this shit for their dreams? Who else would be telling themselves, I'm going all in, regardless of the situation, and making it fucking work? Very few, I know, are about that life. I'm about this shit right now. We are all going to die, and nobody's going to give a fuck. You've developed yourself to withstand it all. You have been through more than most because every opportunity you've had to take a risk or have an idea, you followed through and you've taken action. No different now. Let's get after it. Time to go to Best Buy to get this laptop. I realize at this moment now, being financially incapable, <laughs> homeless and two heavy ass bags with my life in them, life might be getting a little bit harder. Everything needs to be intentional. Awareness has risen. And now shit is taking 10 times longer. Time for the bus. Best Buy. Realizing I have only $600 left. What the fuck laptop can I buy with this shit? I realize none, nothing of use for what I need. Tried to get a Best Buy credit card so I could pay it off. Did not. No laptop for me. Have to buy one at Walmart. Let's see about a microphone I can buy as well. Well, I wanted the wireless Road Go 2's microphones. But... They were $300. Hmm, that's not happening. But of course, this entrepreneur lady comes up to me saying she's making her own dried fruit and has her own business. And of course, I cash up her $5 for them. Headass. Got some Chipotle and started to realize, where the fuck am I going to sleep tonight? My heart racing through my ass while I'm trying to look at places to on Google Maps in 3D mode where I can set up my tent without trespass. Next level homeless shit. As I walked to the destination I found on the Google Maps to hopefully see if I can find somewhere to sleep, it's dark as fuck when I leave the Chipotle and go to the park and there are walls wrapped around it. And there's this corner of the park where I can fit my tent in there and nobody will see. Well, maybe Rick running in the morning, but I will have left by then. Boom. Clutch ass spot. I started walking to the spot and I just feel sketch as hell. I'm looking over my shoulder, making sure no one sees my homeless ass creeping into the spot. I started setting up my tent and I figured out faster than I thought. Simple. Four stakes in the ground to hold the tent in place, connect the two poles together and their pieces, run them through the hooks of, on the tent, add the cover on top, and boom! Jungle man cave has been made! The whole time I felt sketchy and homeless as fuck setting it up. Still, all it takes is Karen calling the cops on me and trespassing will be charged. Fuck it. I had a twin blow-up mattress, small USB pump. It plugged into my portable charger and blew up my air mattress in six minutes. Put all my stuff in the tent, zipped it up, locked up the two zippers together as my security. So if somebody's going to come this bitch, they better come with some heat. Day 001.